Hey, what's up to all my beautiful people all over the world? This is Dr. Enoch Kote, the primary care physician you can trust, breaking down the topics you care about in a way that you can understand. Did you know that a pill exists that can help you prevent HIV infection? Do you consider yourself or someone that you know or care about to be at increased risk for HIV infection? Or do you just want to learn more in general? Well, if so, then you'll open the right video because I'm going to give a breakdown on PrEP and answer the burning questions that you want to know. So watch, listen, and learn. Now before we get into this video, I just want to remind you now to, if you haven't already, show me some love and hit that subscribe button down below to join the Trust PCP community, engage in dialogue with me, and get the latest breakdowns on all the medical topics that you care about. The first question you might have is what does PrEP stand for? So P-R-E-P, PrEP, stands for Pre-Exposure Prophylaxis. And prophylaxis is just a big fancy term for prevention. So this is a pill that you take in order to prevent HIV infection if you're ever exposed to it, whether it be through sexual contact or any other form of transmission. The pill used for PrEP is called Truvada. This is a medication that's been around for a while, and as a matter of fact, a lot of people that are HIV positive take this medication along with another pill to treat their HIV infection. But when it's taken alone, it works really well to actually prevent HIV infection. In order for it to be effective, the way that it works is that you would take this pill once a day every day, the same way that you would take like a blood pressure pill or a vitamin or any other type of daily medication. And once you take it for an extended period of time and it gets into your system, then it basically protects you against HIV infection. That way, if you're ever exposed to HIV through any source of transmission, then this medication will fight off the virus so it can't get into your body and infect you and cause you to become HIV positive. PrEP should not be used on an as-needed basis, like for example, right before you have an unprotected sexual encounter only, because if you use it that way, there's a very high likelihood that it might not work and you can still be at risk for HIV infection. For those having receptive anal intercourse, you would have to be taking the pill every day for at least seven days before you can reach the maximum amount of protection from HIV. For IV drug users and those women having vaginal receptive intercourse, you would have to be taking it for at least 20 days in a row consistently before you reach maximum protection against HIV infection. Even if you're on PrEP, you should still be using condoms at all times because PrEP does not protect against other sexually transmitted infections. Also, when you combine condoms along with PrEP, this kind of gives you the best chance in terms of avoiding any type of HIV infection. Now, when we talk about PrEP, we tend to mainly focus on the MSM population and men who have sex with men, and rightfully so because the highest rates of infection are in this community and they have very high risk of HIV infection. So if they're not HIV positive, they should all have a conversation with a doctor about PrEP. However, there are other uh, groups that are at risk as well. So other people that should at least consider having a conversation with a doctor about taking PrEP include men or women who are active with an HIV positive partner, those with multiple sex partners of unknown HIV status that use condoms inconsistently, anyone with a history of other sexually transmitted infections, sex workers, and IV drug users. Also, for women who have an HIV positive partner and desire pregnancy, they should take PrEP number one to protect the baby and also to avoid HIV infection for themselves. And in that case, if the woman is HIV positive and the man is negative, they should actually consider taking PrEP as well. Now, when it comes to Truvada, there are a few things that we need to consider. First, in terms of long-term effects, Truvada does have the potential to harm the kidneys. That's why before we start showing the medication, we need to make sure your kidneys are healthy and that we need to check them every three months just to make sure that there hasn't been any damage while taking the medication. And also, we need to make sure you're not taking any other medications along with it that can also harm the kidneys. The other important consideration with this medication is that before we start it, we need to absolutely make sure that you are HIV negative. That's because if you're HIV positive and you take Truvada alone without any other HIV medications, it can cause resistance or basically make this medication ineffective against the HIV virus. It definitely works. 
When taken effectively, PrEP can reduce the risk of HIV infection by up to 97%. PrEP is not cheap as a year's worth of Truvada can cost about $20,000. A lot of commercial insurances do cover the cost of the medication, and a lot of state and federally funded programs uh, will cover the medication as well. For uninsured patients, they do have a patient assistance program which will cover the cost of the medications, but eligibility depends a lot on your income. One recent development is that the Trump administration reached a deal with Gilead, the company that uh, manufactures Truvada, and got into agreed to a deal in which they will donate pills to over 200,000 uninsured or low-income patients for them to receive free PrEP for up to 11 years. So look out for details on that and developments uh, for that story. Also, the patent for Truvada will run out next year, so then a generic uh, form of the medication will be available starting at that time that should be much cheaper. Um, but they're also developing a uh, new PrEP, which is basically the same pill, but with another component in it that uh, makes it safer for your kidneys. So this is going to be a new medication that's a brand name that will have a higher cost. If you're interested in PrEP, the first step is just getting up and going to see your doctor and having a discussion with them about whether or not PrEP is a good option for you. So between all the breakthroughs that we've made in terms of HIV therapy, the effectiveness of PrEP, and uh, potentially curing a couple of people of HIV, I'm definitely very optimistic about our chances of potentially reducing the amount of new infections in this country and around the world significantly over the next few years. Um, if you haven't seen that video on the HIV cure, make sure you check that out after this video. And if you want to learn more about chlamydia and gonorrhea, two other common sexually transmitted infections, make sure you check out that video. And if you want to learn about trichomonas, make sure you check out my blog. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Trust PCP for breakdowns and other medical topics. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure you drop a line below. Uh, thank you for watching and peace out.